Hey everybody, here's my mallet smash from my last video and it turned out really cool. It's hard to see the gold and the iridescent on camera, but it's there. See a little bit of the gold, but I really like how it turned out. Today I'm doing a plastic wrap pour with greens and blues. Whoa, it's a little too big. So green and blue. And I'm going to put down the silicone color first to see if it makes any difference or not. Um, so the colors I'm using, this has no label, but it looks like an iridescent neon-y green. Um, not quite sure what that is. Thalo Green. Grumbacher Prussian Blue. A self-mixed metallic blue. And then this is some kind of blue. It looks maybe there was some Payne's Gray in it at some point. <laughs> I honestly do not know. Um... Not sure, but this is the one I'm going to put um, the silicone in, so spot on treadmill lubricant. Stir that puppy in there. Okay, set that aside. Put my gloves on so I can pour my white paint, which is Floetrol and water. And if you're hearing like a pounding noise, that's my dog upstairs chewing on a, oh, what are they called? Yak, yak sticks or whatever, but hard cheese stuff. It's really loud. And she does it on our kitchen floor, which is wood. I can hear it down here, so I don't know if you can hear it, but I sure can. Big chunk of something. So I was at the dog bar the other day. I think I've talked about that before. It's like my favorite place on earth now. It's a bar, but it's a playground for dogs. So you can have beer and cocktails while your dogs play with other dogs. It's amazing. I go there a lot. It's quite far from my home, but that hasn't stopped me. Of course, where I live quite far means 20 minutes. So <laughs> not to other people, that's probably nothing. Depending on where you live, that could be close. But I was there the um, Saturday, and I got hit in the head. It was super windy, and an umbrella, heavy-duty umbrella fell over, and the metal hit me smack on the top of my head. But I seem to be doing just fine. I didn't even have a headache, which is really surprising. You can probably hear that upstairs now. It's really loud. I apologize for that, but, oh well, <laughs> making sure all the, I was going to say all the ovens are covered, all the edges are covered, maybe I did get hurt when the, when it fell on my head, <laughs> of course today's Monday, so been a few days. I think I'd know if I was damaged by now. All right, so silicone is going on first. Oh, 
there's quite a bit in there. Put a little bit more. Okay. Now we'll do that neonish green. I notice I got some blue right here, which doesn't make me very happy, but I think I just removed it. Alrighty, put my lid on my paint. And let's go with the Prussian blue. For the phthalo green, which is such a pretty green. Sometimes if I don't put the lids on right away, I tend to forget to put the lids on at all. And now for the iridescent metallic blue. doesn't it looks too smushy we shall see nope it looks pretty good colors are really pretty See if I can blow out those bottom edges a little bit. That's better. 
better. Get you up close and personal. Ooh, I didn't even know the edge was so pretty on that side. Pretty edge over here, too. And it will continue to sell up and spread a little bit as it dries. So thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you all next time. Bye.